the next caller arrives. Hi, this is Jessica Mays, Infusionsoft Certified Consultant, and today I'm going to show you how to set up custom fields in Infusionsoft. When you get your Infusionsoft application, we all have the exact same fields set up in our system. What we're able to do is we're able to set up up to 100 custom fields in the contact record section of our app. So I'll repeat that, up to 100 custom fields in the contact record section of our application. I want to show you how to do that. It's not that it's necessarily hard, it's just a matter of finding where you go to do it and the steps to, to make it happen. So when you log into your application, you land on your dashboard, hover on the Infusionsoft icon, and go into Admin Settings. From there, the top thing on the main column is custom fields. This is actually a drop-down menu, so I'm actually going to kind of expand upon what I told you just a minute ago about how you can set up up to 100 custom fields in the contact record section of the app. That is absolutely true, but I also want to just point out this is a drop-down menu, and it does cover all other areas of the app, the um, affiliate area, the company records, tasks, appointments and notes, orders, subscriptions and opportunities. You can set up custom fields in those areas too, up to 100 in each area. It, if you set something up in the opportunity section, it's not going to take away from your limit over in your contact record section. You know I'm kind of really hitting on that point a lot. You're going to find once you get the hang of custom fields that you're going to want to make them all the time, and um, so you can go through that 100 max fairly quickly, so that's why I keep mentioning that. So we're in Infus uh, I'm sorry, Admin Settings, we land on this page that has custom fields. It defaults to contact because that probably is the most common place that we make uh, custom fields. Just simply click Go. Now keep in mind, this is my app and I've already set up a lot of custom fields. You will not have, if you're doing this for the first time, you will not have all these boxes that you're seeing right now on my page. That's because I've already done the work. If uh, you're doing this for the first time, this will all be blank, but what you will have is this part up here. Okay. So this kind of explains um, what you can do. It tells you about the 100 max. I've got 47 slots left. Another drop-down menu. You decide if right now you're creating a field, a header, or a tab. Starting out, you're just going to create fields. Fields are the, the things that we're talking about, the thing that you have 100 of. Okay? If we scroll down into what I've got going here, this is a field, Infusionsoft start date. This is a field we have from sales rep name, sales rep email, and so forth. So you're going to start out by making fields. You will click Add. and this is where you have to fill in the name of the field, demo, and this is important, you have to decide what kind of field type it is. It defaults to text. When you pick text, anything entered in that field will take into that field. So if numbers or letters or symbols or whatever are entered into the field, they will show up in the field. If you were to choose, let's say, um, currency or whole number or things like that. Um, you know, you could run into issues if somebody enters something differently than you anticipated. So if it's the type of field that there could be a few different ways that people enter the information, you may want to stick with text so that you for sure get the information. Okay, so it defaults to text because again, that's the most common. If you want a deeper discussion about which type of field to use, you would just click this button. It'll tell you all about it. Now, for now, this is all you have to do. Name it, decide what type, and click Save. Before I do, I want to point out this link right here. This will come back into play, or once you get the hang of this, you might do this right from the beginning. Showing advanced options allows you to pick a tab and a header that you want the field to go under. If you don't fill this out in the beginning, no big deal. It will slot itself into a spot called Custom Fields, and then you can move it from there. So if you're just starting out with this, stick with just learning how to make custom fields. You can 
make it look pretty out in your contact record later. Okay, so I'm, I'm not ignoring this link here, but for what we're demoing right now, we're not gonna we're not gonna do that quite yet. So I've chosen demo, I've chosen text. That's all I'm gonna do for right now. I'm gonna click Save Field, and what ends up happening is it shows up on the list. It will show up at the bottom of your list. So in this custom field section, you will now see it says demo. It's a text field. I can edit it. And remember what I was saying, if you decide you want to reorganize these and stick them into different sections in your contact record, um, you would click the edit button here and then you could go ahead and do that. Now, we've created one field. I will show you how that looks in practice. We're going to go into a contact record. And you'll see up here it says custom fields. And now at the bottom of this list, because I already had a bunch of custom fields already in here. Actually, where did it go? Custom fields. Right here. Oops. Demo. There's the custom field that we just made. Okay, if I decided that I wanted to move these around, because here's what ends up happening. Once you make all of your custom fields, you decide you want to organize them out in your contact record. So if you're in contacts in your app and you don't see Kickstart Coaching and you don't see potential client, that's because I've made those custom uh, sections. Those are the custom fields and headers that you have the other option to do in that section. And that's exactly what I've done. So I create all of my custom fields and then I put them in the section that I want them in so that I can quickly find them when I need to use them. So that is how we create custom fields. The last thing that I want to show you is what we can do with those custom fields. First of all, it just makes our app more applicable to the work that we're doing. We get fields in there so we can capture information that we need to capture in our business. Additionally, on the marketing side of things, we can merge custom fields into things such as our emails to save us time and send out uh, much more relevant correspondence. So I created a demo email to show you how this works. We're now in the editing pane of a, a drag and drop email. Dear blank, if I click this merge button right here, all of the standard fields pop up that I can merge in, but also look at this custom, contact fields custom. If I click on this, these are all of my custom fields. So in the salutation line, we're not going to probably say dear demo or anything custom. We would probably stick with one of our common fields, dear first name. So I've got that in there. But then, just to show you how this all works, we'll put a couple of these custom fields in. In particular, let's put demo in there because I just made it. And I want to put something in there where I know I have fields so that it actually shows up. Okay, close this. All right, I just saved my changes to this template. Now look at it merged in my first name. But this is blank because this particular record doesn't have that information in it. So uh, I'm just going to show you this as a finished product. Let's see. Got the number four in there. And then let's go to demo. Put some information in there as well. Put in yes. Let's go ahead and update this.
I'm in the contact record and the way I can quickly show this to you is by scrolling down and from select an action, I'm going to choose send an email. And I'm going to grab that demo template that I just made. And there it is. So this doesn't make any sense, but this is just for demo purposes. It merged in my name. And these are the two answers that are sitting in those uh, fields that I chose for the email. So it merged in um, the info that I put in the demo field. I typed yes, and it merged in the number in that second field. Um, it's either a four or six, and in this particular record, it's a four. So that shows you, number one, how you can create uh, custom fields for your contact record, and then secondly, one thing that you can do with it.